Kia ora. My name is Finn Baby, and today I'll be talking about the rise, the fall, and the rise again of the world's rarest goose. The nene or Hawaiian goose is an endemic bird species to the Hawaiian Islands and is the official state bird of Hawaii. These geese stand at approximately 41 centimeters and have a mass of 1.5 to 2.6 kg for females and 1.7 to 3.5 for male. These geese can currently only be found on four of the Hawaiian Islands, which are Maui, Oahu, Molokai, and Hawaii, or the Big Island. Although they may be kind of hard to come across if you don't know where they are and if you're not looking for them. It is thought that the Nene evolved from migratory Canada geese that likely arrived in the islands 500,000 years ago, not too long after the islands of Hawaii were formed. These birds also gave rise to two now extinct species of Hawaiian geese, known as the Nene Nui and the Giant Hawaiian Goose. Based on a DNA found in fossils, all Hawaiian geese are likely related to two subspecies of the Canada Goose. These subspecies being the Dusky Canada Goose and the Giant Canada Goose. Because the Nene evolved in an isolated island in the Pacific with no mammalian predators, much like here in New Zealand, they show little fear towards humans and other animals, which almost got them extinct. When humans arrived on the islands 1,500 years ago, they brought a few mammal species with them, such as mice, dogs, and pigs. These introduced species will be a new challenge for all wildlife of Hawaii, as well as occasionally being hunted by Polynesian settlers. However, it wasn't the native Hawaiians that caused the downward spiral of the Nene, as they had respect for the environment and did almost everything in a very sustainable way. It was in the year 1778, when explorer Captain James Cook was the first white man to discover the Hawaiian Islands, and it wasn't long after when Europeans started to settle there and introduced hundreds of introduced species, some for game, some accidentally, and some, well, just because they can. Humans hunted the nene until the late 1800s, and the species was hard hit in the 1890s by the introduction of mongoose. Rodents such as rats became a huge problem towards crops and other agricultural lands. So what did they decide to do? Well, they decided to introduce the small Indian mongoose. The problem is that rats are nocturnal animals and can climb trees really well. And the mongoose is diurnal and they can't climb trees that well. So what did the mongoose go and do? Well, it went and hunted other species. And one of these species was you guessed it, the nene. <laughs> Thanks to all the introduced predators and introduced diseases from other bird species, most of Hawaii's endemic bird species are now extinct. And the ones that remain are very hard to come by. Because the nene didn't evolve with these species, they have no defense against them. So eggs would go missing and goslings would be killed. There were estimated to be around 25,000 nene during the first Western contact in 1778. But in the late 1940s, they were effectively extinct in the wild, and there were only 30 individuals left in 1950. But as you can probably tell from the title of this video, they came back! The species were saved by the first successful captive breeding and release programs. Between 1950 and 1978, the breeding program increased the number of individuals by up to 2,000, and releases of the nene began. At first they were only released on the Big Islands, but a small population was released on the Haleakala on Molokai where they had once lived. Early releases weren't self-sustaining, as predators such as feral cats and mongooses were still present, so continued releases were still required to strengthen the wild flocks. In 1992, Category 5 Hurricane Iniki devastated the island of Kauai and gave several forest bird species the extinction sentence. Iniki destroyed pens that held a small flock of nene on Kipu Valley on Kauai. People were reluctant to release nene onto Kauai, the only island to remain mongoose free, as they didn't know if nene were originally found there and they didn't want to tamper with nature. Looks like humanity finally grew a brain. Luckily, discoveries of prehistoric bones of Nene were found in sinkholes and caves, 
which proved that DNA did in fact exist on Kauai. Conservation efforts are still being made today to help protect the nene and other native animals of Hawaii. Oh yeah, and if you ever come across one, don't feed or touch it, because you could risk getting a 50,000 US dollar fine and a year in prison. So, best just to admire them from a nice distance and take as many beautiful photographs as you like. Like I did, I like taking photos, they're beautiful. I would like to thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and or learned something, please consider leaving a like. And if you're interested in content like this and want more, uh, I'm thinking of making some cool New Zealand documentary things like that, and other cool science-y things here. So if you're interested in that, please uh, consider leaving a subscribe, it'll be really nice. And if you were to take one thing away from this video is that European settlers were a bit dumb, weren't they?